my name is Nicola and welcome back to my channel. This is the Fugu Cottage where we talk all things money to help you on your financial journey. Today's video is another cash envelope stuffing video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So this last week didn't go to plan at all in terms of kind of just general stuff. My three year old ended up catching a sickness bug so he's been off a nursery and we've not managed to go anywhere or do anything. We also had to get him um, a Covid test which is really unpleasant to do on a three year old. We'll see how he goes this week but he's, you know, he has been quite really quite poorly so in terms of kind of going anywhere or doing anything it has been not what we'd planned let's put it that way. So uh, talk through my cash envelope system if you've not been here before this is just from Amazon but I love it I'll leave a link below to this and I haven't actually emptied the I haven't emptied my cash envelopes yet either, so we'll do that first. So I've got five cash envelopes that we use every week. So there's food, petrol, miscellaneous, children, and eating out. And last week when I did this, I said, oh, we're going to go out for the day on Saturday. We're going to go kind of out for the day with the kids and do something, maybe soft play, maybe a farm. Because the, our three-year-old has been poorly, we've not done any of that. So I guess in terms of spending money, we haven't spent as much as I planned to. Um, but it's been a bit of a, it's been an interesting week. So I take, just take all the, all this change then goes into my different savings challenges. And I, again, I'll leave a link below to that video if you want to join me on those. It is not too late to join in. Petrol's empty. Miss Lane just got a bit in as well. So yeah, so the children's envelope wasn't spent in the end, so what I'm going to do with this £20 is I'm going to put it in our sinking fund for the summer holidays, and again, I'll leave a link below to the latest video on those if you want to check that out. And then I didn't spend this either because we do, we've not really been anywhere, so this is going to go into my Mulberry fund, so that kind of adds up there. And they are now all empty. So this week, like ahead like I said I don't think we could do anything in particular it's just a case of kind of the usual routine hopefully they'll both be back at nursery and school tomorrow but food wise I feel like it's a fairly normal week I think I've got two meals that are in the freezer that I'm going to use this week so that will make that slightly easier I think for kind of spend wise but I'm going to put £70 in the food envelope for the week ahead 20, 40. 60, 70. We are definitely spending more in the summer months. I said that last week and so it, it definitely is the case. Things add up quite quickly. Let me know down below what is your favourite kind of budget meal for the summer months when it's warmer because I've got loads of budget meals so when it's colder but I really struggle in the summer months to find things that are not as expensive to make. So let me know what your favourite budget meal is I would really appreciate that <clears throat> but yeah 70 pound has gone into the food envelope for the week ahead that should do us it definitely averages out around kind of 55 60 pound a week which you know if family four I'm okay with at the moment some weeks it's definitely lower but at the moment it seems to be creeping up a bit I wonder why that is I might have a look at what we're buying and seeing I think it's things like fruit and we've bought ice cream and stuff and obviously you wouldn't normally buy those I don't know, but anyway, £70 goes in the food envelope. So petrol, as always, is going to be £30. I put the same in this every single week. That does our car nicely. £30 in there. That doesn't really change. Sometimes I can get away with 20 but not often. So £30 in the petrol envelope. Miscellaneous. So I spent, I've been and bought like cat food and things this past week. So I think this one is not going to be used as much. This week, I'm still going to put £20 in here. But I feel like the miscellaneous budget is fairly safe this week, should we say. I feel like the only thing... No, I so I got toilet roll and kitchen roll and cat food and some cleaning stuff last week. And that kind of pretty much spent... There's a bit of change in here, wasn't there, but not a lot left. I feel like this week that'll be fairly minimal in terms of what I spend out there. But like I said, anything that gets left over either goes in sinking funds if I want it to all the savings challenges that I'm doing as well so actually it doesn't matter if I don't spend it because it just goes into different things anyway that, that then will be spent in different places so that's okay but miscellaneous I feel this week is going to be one that's left over although every time I seem to say that about the miscellaneous envelope I then end up spending it all so we'll see how it goes so children so yeah we didn't end up going anywhere this week at all we've just pretty much stayed in the house 
um, which you know I guess we've all got used to a bit but sometimes I was looking forward to going somewhere different this weekend and then we didn't get there but you never know next weekend we might get to go there instead so I'm going to put £20 in here because I, I would quite like to take them to like a soft play or a, you know a park not a park a farm or somewhere that's just a bit different that we, we you know there's lots of places around a drive away but lots of places around us that you can go to that have like entry fees and stuff um, and it'd just be nice to do something a bit different or even just go you know the, from us the seaside is about a 45 minute drive away even there if it's nice weather next weekend maybe but we'll see so 20 pound has gone into their envelope and if for whatever reason it doesn't get spent although i'm hoping it will do like with this week's so i'm going to put it into our summer holidays it says school holidays and i'm thinking from but the summer holidays are the ones that are next so i'm going to put it in there instead the summer holidays are four weeks away for us so either way it's going to go into those and then just add up and then again if it doesn't get spent it goes kind of rolls over so the the the, the joy or the benefit of this system is that if you kind of have leftover things in envelopes which you know most of the time I do have change left over it's more unusual to have notes left over you can then put that into different things that help you with your budget in other months so like I said going into the sinking funds or the savings challenges that I'm doing that will help us next year or you know things like that and it, it kind of just takes that pressure off a bit it's why I love the system so much and if you're still sitting on the fence about using cash envelopes just give it a go for the next week or two weeks and see how it makes you feel in terms of your own spending. Obviously if you're someone who spends a lot on card it might feel really strange but just give it a go. So there's £20 in the children's envelope and then eating out. The final £10 is going to go in the eating out envelope. And again in kind of a normal week I don't really get to use it very often. My only kind of thing is that I've got some gift vouchers to spend from my birthday in December and then from Christmas and I'm debating in my mind whether to go on Friday I need to travel because it's a shop that we don't have where I live um, and I'm someone who doesn't really like to kind of buy things online I like to see and feel and, and have a I wonder if you can try things on and have a try on of things in person so I am debating whether to go and do that on Friday and in that case I might treat myself to lunch out as well which in that case that won't be enough or, or might, it might be, um, but we'll see. I've not decided. If I do decide to do that, um, then I will potentially go over in two categories because I'll go over in miscellaneous and in ENA. But we'll see. I've not decided. If you watch my videos often, you'll know that, that one of the, my least favourite things to do is to go clothes shopping. But I've got these vouchers and they need to be spent and they're kind of just sat there. So we'll see. So I've got £10 in eating out. I've got £20 in children, £20 in miscellaneous, £30 in petrol and £70 in food and they are my cash envelopes for the week ahead. Let me know how you're getting on, how are your budget categories looking, are you using this, do you not like this, let me know down below. As always thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again very soon.